All right, you guys, this is your 10 minute arms. You're gonna get yourself ready to go. Grab your weights, what you need, some dumbbells, a mat, that's all that you need. All right, you guys, we're gonna warm things up real quick here. Just a minute on the arms. So just roll the shoulders back a few times here. And then open the arms up, thumbs up, and then thumbs down. Have some rotation here. Pressing back as you're opening up the chest. Good, two more, and then reach all the way up, swing around. Nice big circles here. So I want you to brace the core, soften the knees, and then kind of like feel like you're doing like a little mini squat and reach up and back one more time. Bring that arm across the body and switch. As it goes across the body, drop it below your chin. Last one here. All right, take the wrist. We're gonna just pull those fingers down and switch your hands here. Relax, a little twist in the, in the torso here. Elbows are up at about shoulder height. Good, last four, three, two, one. All right, reach up. Grab that wrist, a nice side stretch, lengthen through the torso. And let's reach other arm up and over and release. All right, we're gonna be starting, each movement is one minute. So I'm gonna set my timer here and we're gonna grab something between three to five pounds. So we're gonna do some punching. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells. So punching out in front. So soften the knees, brace your core. And if you want to know about technique, you're going to watch Tamika over there. Because she's the boxing queen. <laughs> yeah. What am I missing? We're all good? Punch it out, pull it back, right? All right, two more seconds. Now, waist down, give me some dips. Feet go in front, hands under shoulders. And you're going to bend your elbows and press. And if you don't want dips, you can always stay in those punches. So the heels are down, the toes are up. Shift your weight back so that those hands are directly under your shoulders. So just really warming up those arms. And when we are done with this movement, we're not gonna go very far because we gotta push up. Three seconds, two, and turn around. A slow push up. All right, so hands outside those shoulders. Go on down slow. Hold at the bottom and then press yourself up. So come all the way down slow. Hold it and push away. Super. All right, again, slow it down. Keep your core tight. You're going to hold one, two, three. Push away. You can always settle the knees to the ground. Hold it. Push it away. Come on, you can do this. This is early on in the workout. Push it away, halfway there. All right, come on down, slow. Hold, push away. Tuck the tailbone maybe a little bit here. Come down, hold, press it away. All right, let's go down slow. Slow, hold it, push it away. I know you got a couple more in you. You can do this. Hold, push away, come on down, hold. All right, we got half curls. Give me something heavy. Hurry, 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 hurry. Halfway up. And right, we gotta be kind of moving kind of fast here. You only have five seconds to transition. That's not very much time here. So elbows directly under the shoulders, wrist is straight. And again, you're coming up to about belly button height. So again, this should be a moderate to heavy load because we're only doing it one time. Hold it halfway to the top and halfway down. Really squeeze at the top and then just again, just down to that belly button. Woo, soften the knees. If your weight is light, you can always do a kneeling curl. That would make it a little bit harder. Yeah, keep your core tight to move. Three seconds. Rear fly, thumbs are in. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna alternate. 
because I got a nice heavy load here. If you've got fives, right, and you're like, this is kind of easy, then double up your arms. Then both go, arms go up at about shoulder height here. But if it's heavy, right, you're gonna alternate that so that you can get each arm up using that rear shoulder, your beautiful back. Soften your knees, look out in front. Oh, you gotta brace that core, especially when you have a heavy weights. You're gonna feel your core activate even more here. About 20-ish seconds here. Again, do your best. If it's too light next time you do this workout, you go heavier, right? A few more seconds here. Then we gotta curl to a press. All right, I'm gonna go a little heavier here. Curl and then press up. Shoulders, then push. All right, again, a nice heavy load here. Knees are soft. Eyes look up. There you are, right? It could be a hammer curl right to the press. It could be palm up. You can turn those hands in any direction that works for your shoulders or that feels right to you. Halfway through this, come on. And again, don't swing the weight. You bring it up, you bring it down. So control that motion. Yeah. Love it that you're heavy weight. So this is really gonna give you some strengthening in those muscles and tone them up, tighten them up. Big press up here. Woo. We got some push-ups. All right, push up with a shoulder tap. Get ready, here we go. Push up, tap shoulder, right, left. Drop in that push up. Knees or toes, no rush in the shoulder tap. So you have an opportunity to be on that one arm for some strength there. Love it. And then have your feet open wide enough that you're not gonna rock your hips side to side here. So you gotta brace the core, keep those hips shining down to the ground. Halfway there. Oh yes. <laughs> now we're starting to feel it. And I'm gonna tell you what, is there's no magic in the workout. It's all the intensity, I tell you that, right? So go for that intensity. Go for those heavier weights. Get a little deeper. We got straight arm kickbacks. Grab something and then a side raise. Straight arm kickbacks, hinge forward, straight arm, and then side raise. Boom. Straight arms push back, stand up, side raise. Straight arm push back, then side. So each time that you drop, you're dropping the chest and then rising up. And you can use some of the legs here when you come up. And again, if you got five, you're definitely gonna feel it, but maybe you got those eight pounders, you're using them today. Super job, come on, drop. And again, it's a straight arm kickback, so I can have those palms facing my thighs when I do that straight arm. Pinkies up, thumbs out. There we go. Woo. Get those triceps and your shoulders. Rows coming up. All right, grab something heavy again. Now, if you're really heavy, alternate the rows. If it's not too heavy, both arms go at the same time here. So if you need to, one and then the other. I'm gonna go double, how about you? Oh yeah, we're all going doubles here. Soften the knees, have a flat back here. Look out in front. Pinch between your shoulder blades even more. All right, you come to the top, feel something before you release. Woo! Listen up. We're halfway through this, but I want you to know what's coming up. It's a skull crusher with a chest press, so that's gonna be moderate to heavy again. 
and you'll be lying on your back looking at the ceiling or the sky. We get to look at the sky. Woo! Come on, come on. Pull your abs up and in. Protect your low back here. Push through this. All right, come on to your back. We got that skull crusher. Chest press. Here we go. Bend your elbows. <laughs> We're all hustling. Bend your elbows and then drop down and up. If you want to, you can add the legs. I'm gonna keep my legs on the ground. I'm just focusing on those arms here. Palms face in and the palms face away on the press in the chest. So overhead with that skull crusher and then drop to the chest for that press. Brace the core. Awesome job. So this is number nine. We only have one more movement. We're gonna finish with what we started. So eventually we're gonna come back up, do your punches and your dips. Finish off those arms. Great range here. Three, two, all right, quickly come up to those feet. And we're gonna go back to those punches, ready and hit the punches. I gotta make sure, see, I didn't even have the same. I was like, one doesn't feel right. And an eight and a five. I was feeling strong, but I don't know about eight. <laughs> Maybe you find a rhythm. I'm feeling the rhythm of the song. How about you? Punch, punch. Looking good. Keep it moving here. Woo! Yeah. All right, right into your dips. So put your weight down. Go ahead and quickly flip it. Start those dips. Bend your elbows, straighten them out. Oh yeah. Guys feeling a little bit of burn there in those arms? Yeah. Woo! Maybe you tempo up. Tempo up, can you? Bend, extend. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Just a few more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, pat your back. Give yourself a nice stretch on that tricep. Woo, great job. Oh. And then pat the other side here. Hand touches that mid back. Maybe you look up a little bit here. Woo. And then just round the back. Just round. And then when you're ready to, we're gonna come on up and interlock behind, open the chest here. Ooh, I'm a little slippery. <laughs> and then reach those arms out. Thumbs reach back. Thumbs reach down. Yes. All right, big inhale. That is it, you guys. Bring it all the way up. Bring it down to your heart. You are done. Those are arms, you guys. Thank you. Ooh. Enjoy the rest of that day. See you later.